This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're looking at here is the installation of the Aaron cell. It's got actually 16 plates in it. They're 3 by 8 inches. And it's mounted in a tube, the PVC tube, which is 12 inches tall. It's got a new type of port there on the top and actually a bottom drain port. There's actually two ports there. The way they're set up is so that I can pour water directly into the top, which is a new revision on the Aaron cell. These are acrylic straps that I'm using. I'm using acrylic or plastic, a type of plastic, that withstands about 800 degrees. The acrylic has between 6 and 17 times greater impact resistance than glass and withstands about uh, 800 degrees. One of the reasons I use acrylic so much is that it has resistance to chemicals, acids, ammonia, sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid, almost uh, anything we can think of. It's an incredible material, and it's easy to cut and easy to drill. You can see the straps here. Hopefully, if I'm right, it will make a very secure system. For some crazy reason, the Honda has this plate there that uh, they might have been making space for something else. Well, now it's got the hydrogen cell in it. What you see is the way it is strapped in. There is no straps on the bottom. And I didn't have to make any holes in the Honda whatsoever. That piece right there literally is sitting against that. It is not attached. I may have to put one more piece on the bottom, and uh, I'm not sure of that yet. You can see a second view here. It really fits in there nice. This first installation is going to hook up as a helper system. I know there's a lot of people out there that want me to continue really fast. Really eager for me to throw it everything in there. I'm doing it the way I do things, testing every inch of the way. This system will work. Every inch of the way, I'm testing and making sure that it does what it's supposed to do. The installation is very important. It does not do any good at all if you throw a system in the car and it doesn't perform. There'd be no reason to use that as a good test. It's got to be in there secure, and it's got to be able to be accessible. And I also want to be able to take it out at a minute's notice if I have to. So the next step will be to add the tubing, which will go into the bottom of the filter casing there, and another one will go into one of the vacuum tubes.